Yeah, they just like stop it. One area. They just threaten me with their tentacle. One of them has a flickery tentacle. By now, there should have been a sword upgrade. Can't stand this small range. Is this what I came out of? if that's what I came out of. But actually, I think I had a map for the area I came out of. Could be mistaken. one of the most this is one of the longest most annoying dungeons in uh, overworld setups and I have no idea why I'm even here so I feel like I'm jumping the gun on something because maybe I was supposed to find another town somehow I'm just gonna unwittingly stumble across the final boss or get to the very end and have a locked door or something. difference between dungeon and overworld in this game. What's so different that I can't use an audio's spell? If it's something like the like the overworld is wide open and you could assume that I just took a different route around creatures. And then in a dungeon, we couldn't avoid it. But the overworld is not wide open. It's the, it's like the same setup as a dungeon. Narrow hallways.
I'm actually using the heal spell, which I don't use very often. And I think I might level up with this guy or the next battle. Yeah. <laughs> next level? I don't know. Not that I can see. Good time to save. Cool thing is I leveled up twice, so I didn't really even need to go back to town or anything. I don't really mean to say that not wanting to play the game over again. I, I don't think that that necessarily means that I'm saying it's a bad game. Some games are just... I need to turn this back on. It's too hot. Some games are just so long and require so much out of you that the replay value just isn't there, especially if there aren't like different things that you could do really, and in this game there aren't. This game is pretty linear, at least in the plot department. And actually in the gameplay, I could say that the gameplay is very linear since it's a lot of always. But even games like, um, from what I hear, I haven't actually played it, but um, Kingdoms of Amalur, um, it's a big single player game and just requires a lot of your time. And, uh, in that game, uh, one of the reviewers said that, like, sure, you can do different things, but are you really going to? Because it just takes so incredibly long to get anywhere in the game. So, regardless of it being somewhat non-linear, If, if it just takes too long, then that lessens the replay value. And I would say that this game definitely takes too long to play. At least for my tastes. with games of this era. They're, 
uh, most of the games in the Genesis Nintendo Super Nintendo era are actually most of them are just incredibly difficult so that makes them take a long time to beat just because it usually takes memorization of the level and just a lot of patience and practice and games like this they were designed to take just as long but not because they're difficult because They just, just because they take this long, just because people wanted a lengthy experience. But I don't really care for lengthy experiences when they're just drawn out. That goes for adventure games too. There's a lot of backtracking and adventure games and pointless errands just to make it last longer. Doesn't it doesn't enhance the game, it just makes it take longer so that you can't beat it in one sitting. How are you been in this cave? I just need to go to a town and find out what I'm supposed to be doing because I have no idea. I just keep getting lost. So why don't we do that? See if I find anything new. I already got the dragon shield and it sucked. Well, everyone in Swafen talks about a ruined town, but they don't tell you which direction it's in, so they're just geographically inept. Everyone in Hellwig tells you to go west to Swafen. useless other than saying that there's a ruined town that you have to get um well if it's the same thing as the ruins because they talk about that too one guy said that the ruin to get to the ruins you have to go through three caves so mm, i don't know if the, if that's the same thing but let's just look for a nearby town I actually would think that in audios would be less useful outside when it's bright. <sighs> Whereas in a cave it would, I'm, I would think, should be more useful. But then again, you have to use a light source to see where you're going, so maybe I'll try without. Uh, casting Luminos next time. But I doubt that's the case. I think it's more likely just 
something programmed in to make caves easier. Or, no, the opposite of easier. Durr. I also think that, thinking that usually the areas where I have maps to them are areas where I'm supposed to be going next. And unless I just completely missed the map giver. Unmapped areas are places that I don't need to go yet, but you never know. I heal up. Oh, and I just went inside the cave right now. Can't use that here. So it's not that I'm giving off a light source making me easy to spot, it's that I just simply can't use it in caves for some reason. Maybe it's tied to the sun and the moon. <clears throat> it needs their magical power to work. But I doubt it. It's locked. opens it? Secret key doesn't fit. Dungeon key doesn't fit. I don't have any more keys. I'm just going to use this up and it's not going to benefit me. Oh, okay. That gave me magic points. 3 on 3 versus... Wait, that didn't give me magic points. Lame. Waste of time. Maybe this is the cave I've already been to, but I would think that I have the map for it if I have. Regardless, this has been a total waste of time. I hate this. Where do I go? specific to my current situation. And by now I've already used Banshee Powder multiple times so that did not help me. Ah, what do I do? Hey, found the secret room again. 
going back to places to see if there's any anything new. Bother this king again. No. Nope. Anyways. Well, I'm gonna just keep exploring, I guess, then. Well, I tried the dungeon on this screen and the dungeon on the screen below, and both of them have gates that I can no longer open, but I have been through them because I have the map for the level in there. So those are useless to me now, so basically the whole west of this town is useless. Likely the southern passage is what I need to keep exploring, but it's so incredibly frustrating to do so. But I don't want to. Give me a map. Jack holes in the town. Give me any maps. So, check this guy out. Spend your wealth wisely. I don't really spend my wealth at all, so screw you. Found so far east, and I'm pretty sure that's backtracking that I can't really consider it nearby that town, so this is probably not the place I'm supposed to be. So south of the town is almost certainly where I'm supposed to be headed, so let's just keep on going, I guess. just need to keep on using that spell. Since random encounters don't do anything for me anymore, besides take my health and magic. wondering is which direction from here. because that's, I think, another cave that I can't get into. Stop it! Seems are just a huge 
nuisance right now. No, I didn't want that. I can't do anything in. Well, at least we are now confident. I say we. At least now I'm confident in my confusion. I know where I'm going. I'm still confused about what I'm supposed to be doing where I'm going and exactly how to get there from here. It would help if I like sketched notes or a map or something. In places like this where I can't see anything. But the game doesn't really encourage that because, I, at least I don't think so, because it ends up supplying you with a map, so what's the point of creating a map when you'll soon after get an entire map? It's kind of like it rewards you for just sticking it out and trying your best to remember where you're going. I don't really consider nearby the town. But it's at least more likely that this is where I'm going, I'm supposed to be going. I've already been in here. Okay, let's see if I've already been in that other entrance. That's what I thought might happen. It's the same cave, just a different entrance to it. This is seriously, seriously lame. Getting tired of this. I'm going to find a way out of this. Hopefully on to the next area I'm supposed to be. Okay, so... This ladder goes down, and I'm pretty sure the ladder on the bottom of the screen there goes back up to the corresponding ladder here that goes down. So the only thing I can think of to do is to enter through that um, southern cave entrance and go through that spirally thing to the ladder up. Pretty sure that's the only way to get to a new area from this cave. So I'm just, I'm pretty sure I'm just wasting my time in this area because it's just gonna loop around until I go back out the way I came in. It's like this game is doing its best.